What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. And what in the world is going on in the Dominican Republic? Like, I felt so compelled to make a video about it because it's just not sitting right on my spirit. Like, it's bothering me. Some shady behavior, some shady business is going on over there to American tourists. And it's just, it's not sitting right with me at all. So apparently in the last two weeks, there have been three Americans reported there have been three American deaths reported. American tourists coming to, Domin to the coming to the Dominican Republic to have a good time, to vacation, to en to enjoy, just enjoy life and enjoy themselves. People always want to travel the world, so they're like, okay, cool, we want to check out the Dominican Republic. They go there, and their family their family finds out that they have lost their life. They've ended up dead in the Dominican Republic while you know on a trip, and it's crazy to me because. Like these are the individuals have reported going to the mini bar and a lot of these people going to the mini bar and after they drink whatever they drink from the mini bar, they end up dead. Now, it's not even just alcohol because I'm thinking it got to be the liquor or something that's going on with the liquor. They doing something to the liquor. One lady reported she was drinking pop. Now, I'm from Chicago, so we say pop, but soda. And when she drunk the soda after she got to the room. She started feeling oh, very, very weird. She started having chemical burns on her. She was coughing up blood. The inside of her mouth was like bleeding and stuff like that. It was just crazy. Another woman reported, you know, I think they had, she came back to her room and it was smelling like fresh paint, like somebody just painted in their room. And her and her husband were, I think she said this was last year. They were like, like, like to the point choking to the point where they were like slobbing uncontrollably. Coughing up, just coughing, coughing, coughing uncontroll uncontrollably, slobbing. And I'm like, what is going on? And then they come back to America. They left immediately, came back home, and they said that it was pesticides in their system. Pesticides. Like, this is strange. And then, like, people in the, Dominic in the Dominican Republic was like, I mean, there's nothing they could do, you know, or something, something of that sort. Like, they don't know what's going on. They don't know what's happening. And I find that awfully strange, especially the young couple that ended up dead. The black couple that ended up dead in the Dominican Republic, they had been missing. People were looking for them. Their families were, of course, worried. Their bodies were found in a hotel room five days later. Five whole days? Now, y'all let me know what hotel y'all know. Don't go and check the rooms every single day. The um the housekeeper goes and checks. The, she cleans the uh, he or she. They clean the room. They make sure it's clean, and they, you know, of course, they go in these rooms every single day. Now, they didn't see nobody in there. They, they took them five days to find their bodies. Five days? Come on. And they was in the room after all them days? No, no, no. You're not going to make me believe that story. Somebody somebody got their bodies when they died and then put it back in the hotel room, I think, after the fact. Like, that's what it sounded like to me. Somebody put it back in the room after the fact when they found out, you know, the people in America was looking for them. So they went and put the bodies back in there. But it's just really strange and it's very, very creepy and disturbing. Disturbing. Um, you people trying to go and have a good time, drinking from the mini bar and, and ended up dead? They ending up dead? Like, that is crazy to me. It's crazy. Like, And I'm like, you know, because people love to have a great time. People always want to take trips. Everybody tells everybody, you want to travel the world. You want to get a pass. <clears throat> you want to get a passport. You want to see more than America. And then you got people going to the Dominican Republic and it's like their lives are in danger. Like what is going on? What's happening to American tourists? Like I really want to know because these stories are strange. I read another story about a young uh, uh, older woman. Her son went out to the, to the Dominican Republic and he died in an accident while going on a mountain excursion. She says, uh, however, she saw bruising on her um, her son's knuckles. You know, she had to get the body back. His body was over there for a month. She said the doctor said that he had evidence of a cracked skull and there was fluid on his lungs. Cracked skull, fluid on his lungs. And I said, was, they say, okay, he fell. Things could happen. But she said it looked like somebody felt like she said the doctor indicated somebody may have been kicking him or something like that. Somebody may have been kicking him. So it's like, uh, uh, uh. And then some other people reported having fluid on their lungs. The people who were getting sick, drinking. Uh, whatever they were drinking and they, somebody else had reported finding pesticides in their system as well. So I'm like, it's some fishy stuff going on over there, man. And it's sad because I know, you know, you don't want to say, don't go to the Dominican Republic and everybody in the, in the Dominican Republic is out to get Americans. Because you know that's not true. But 
at the same time, it's like, man, you you people are really scared to go over there because they're like, man, people are ending up dead. They just having a drink, and next thing you know, they're in their room, and, and they're dead. They're unresponsive. They cannot wake up, and they're not breathing anymore. That is scary. That is scary, man, and I just find it strange. Like, it just keep happening, keep happening, keep happening. These are not coincidences. One, like, for real, when a coincidence. One too many coincidences is starting to look like a pattern. You know, after a while, it's not a coincidence. It's a pattern. Something is it's like, like it's something is going on. This this is like something planned. It's not a coincidence after a while. And um, man, I, I pray peace comes upon their family. I pray, um, I pray God gives them the healing that they need. I pray the Most High covers their family and gives them the healing that they need to get through this. But I, most importantly. I hope the family finds justice at the end of the day, the justice that is deserved, because these people, these these families, these individuals went over there to have a great time, enjoy life, you know, just enjoy the fruits of their labor. And then they end up with their lives taken. It's, it's terribly sad, terribly sad. And, you know, I got friends that go on vacation all the time to go out the country, um, go on cruises to different places. Um, I had friends that studied abroad. I had a cousin that played basketball overseas. My best friend plays basketball overseas. My mother goes on cruises and stuff like that. So it's like, it's really, really like disheartening. You're like, wow, like people, it makes people apprehensive, man. And you have some people that are scared already. So it's like, it makes people apprehensive from going to places that most people have deemed to be very beautiful, um, very, very tourist friendly. But now it's like you got your guard up because you're like, you don't you just don't know. You don't want nothing to happen to you and you don't want nothing to happen to your loved one. So it's like, what, what in the world? And again, I remember one lady, too. She said she went over there and I think she said she had a drink from the mini bar. Her and her husband both did. When they came back, she said she was feeling like a chainsaw was going through her, uh, her abdomen or going through her stomach. She just felt like a chainsaw was going through her stomach. It felt that it, she was in that much pain. What in the hell is going on that got them in pain like that? They were arriving in pain and they got immediately got up out of there and came back home. Came back home and it was it was reported that pesticides was, was in their system. So I don't know, man. What y'all think, man? This is just some shady stuff going on. Again, the couple was in the room for five days. Nobody found a body after five days. Nobody went into the rooms. In a tourist location where tourists are always coming, there's people coming and going all the time out of these rooms. I know it is. It has to be in, in a tourist spot. Them people was not in the rooms for them five days, man. I feel like they put them back in the room after, like, when they found out they were people were looking for them. It's just, man, it's sad, man. It's sad. And, and um, peace and, and prayers to their family. Again, I pray for the healing. But it's just some sad. It's just very, very sad story, y'all. I had to get that off my, I just had to get that out and, and talk about that. Peace.